I don't know why people were tagging me under this uh, uh, photo or uh, under this tweet. Maybe it's because like uh, there's a bunch of leftists uh, uh, that are upset at it. But um, happy to have found you a year ago. I work Best like I stream and acquiring of Coke sponsorships around 12 has. to 13 hours a day. And some people were like, dude, you stream 13 hours a day. Like you still have time to cook then. And it's like, I don't know why you're dragging me into this conversation. I, I never, I, I, I wasn't even a part of the fucking conversation, but the difference between streaming and like other forms of 12 hour work days is that streaming of course has is significant benefits it's uh awesome i love it i'm the most fortunate person on the planet to be able to do what i do um and to have such a awesome fucking community that uh, it doesn't feel uh terrible i do cook my own food i used to cook my own food before my mom started uh living with me uh, for the duration of covid and it it's super fucking uh it's impossible to cook your own food while you're live 12 hours like you have to take a break you have to shut it down it's almost you have to shut down the stream take a break and then come back to it do you see what i'm saying would you work with one of your followers and endorse a special plant-based oat milk energy drink um uh, maybe Um, probably not though. Wait, who the fuck cares? As long as the chef is being paid and treated well, LMAO, it's a good job. Yeah, I, I don't know why people are... I think people are just mad because they're, they they see someone spending so much money on food and they're like, how the fuck do you do that? And I have no idea how much money I spend on food, so I can't say anything. Who tweeted about the chef? Uh, Nakoko Puffs. He's a pro Apex player who's partnered on Twitch. Um, he's in here all the time. I, he, I've like, I've seen his name before in the chat. Wait until chat finds out how much I spend on clothes. It's a dream job for a lot of thank chefs you, in the Sam. catering industry. I just want to say thank you for being my fab streamer ever and I'm happy to be here for two months. Three. Assuming eight hours of sleep, streaming for 14 hours will leave two hours of non-work sleep time. That's not a lot, especially if you're going to work out and take some time for non-work. Um... I would have had that same reaction when I was in college. I had about $100 to spend on food back then. Yeah, I think I think that's where it comes from. That um, people that get upset at this uh, in, a, in a lot of instances, I mean, in a lot of instances, I think people that get upset at stuff like this don't recognize streams at, streamers as like, um, as, as uh, brands. You know what I mean? This is like, this is basically the fucking, uh, this is basically like a corporation. You understand? It's basically like a business uh, who has decided to politics, uh, change their uh, business expenses. Do you see what I mean? Like a small company. Me out chat. I love you three. Lol. No, dude, you are covering your own guilt. I don't understand. Like what guilt should I feel here? First of all, even from the unrealistic uh, point of view that like I should just not eat or something or I should just cook my own food, which I do for the most part. Even if you have this assumption that like if you are a streamer, you literally have to fucking cook your own food or else you should feel guilty about it. Like I already do that dumbass. So what the fuck do you want from me? Like I, I, it's such a stupid fucking take because I even reached the unrealistic idiotic bar that you have set. But on top of that, I'm still recognizing that it's like a stupid fucking uh, bar to set. Eating well is a microaggression. It's shocking because a lot of us are in an entirely different income bracket, so it's unimaginable, but a good portion of that money is going towards the labor of the chef, so it's understandable. A little weird because it's not normal, but understandable. Yeah, I mean, people spend money on, like, really fucking idiotic shit. Um, I, I think this is not one of them. I, I'm going to be honest with you. Three. I'm going to keep it a buck fifty. At least my man is eating healthy, you know what I mean? How many meals you cook in a week? Every day. Every meal I eat, 
music and every meal I eat loud, is so cooked by my bit personal bit chef just remember that you who are is uh, you are also enough. my mom you are not alone you are boggers you are important you are you Spread I think it's hard for people to think about streamers as workers instead of their friends who stream themselves playing games because of a parasocial side of things, which is why I think these types of controversies occur. Why don't you spend your money on a useful Lambo instead of food to be cooked for you? Yeah. But uh, I, I high-key recommend that. You used to cook every day, turning reacts? Yeah, exactly. What I used to do before my mom started uh, living with me for COVID, during uh, COVID, was I would literally have React content on screen that I had on my phone. You know what I mean? Open at the same exact time, and I would run back and forth between the kitchen and uh, uh, the video. Six months from Miami hassle. And that's what I used to do. Like, I would, uh, I, I would, you know, I would try to minimize the amount of time. I would try to minimize the amount of time that I spend away from the computer, but still like cooking at the same time, like cooking my own food at the same time. It's the best thing you can do. I, some people don't have problems with their diet. Your diet is the most important fucking thing, okay? Straight up, your diet is as important, if not more important than your, uh, your, your, your training regimen. If you are looking to, you know, lose uh, weight or if you're looking to gain weight, whatever, your diet is 80% of that. And most people don't recognize it. Um, so if you think that I'm gonna if you think that I'm gonna shit on someone who's like, I ha I'm eating healthier now. And um, you know, I spend this amount of money. I get why people are surprised by it, because it's a lot of money. Getting a physical from an actual doctor is the most important, not diet. Okay, my, my guy, I'm talking about consistently. I'm back, boys. Says you eat 12 hours a day? No, I don't. Yeah, you can't outwork a bad diet. You just can't. Hello, Arjan and chat. I love you, people. Kiss. Do you get tired of eating the same flavors every day? I usually used to get tired of eating the same thing after a month or so. No. Hassle. It takes me... It takes me a while to get tired of the food. I eat... Everyone on LSF thinks you eat all stream. I know, I know. It's because, like... Eight months for an entire year, whenever people on LSF or whenever React Randalls uh, join the stream, that's when I was eating. Personal chefs are not that weird, to be honest. Have you heard that some people don't even like music? Okay, shut up. Can you start paying your viewers? Maybe work towards some sort of cooperative? Hassle. What? Thirteen months and lucky number. Hope it's not the last. If I were cooking for just myself, I eat the same thing every day. But my wife wants a variety. No, I, I, um, I don't need variety. I actually don't. Um, uh, variety is harder for me because I can't. Variety uh, in food is harder for me because it makes it so much harder to uh, figure out what my diet is. You know, if he's paying $800 a month on groceries and 801 k for someone to cook meals for him every week, using a meal prep service seems way more effective. Yeah, but I don't know, but I feel like meal prep shit is like not good. You know what I mean? Like, does it taste good? I've never used it, but it always strikes me as like airplane food, you know? Four months, let's go. Variety costs more, and yes, it's harder to track the calories. What does your diet look like? Ever, most people in the... There's 17,000 people in this chat right now, and they could literally tell you every single thing I eat. For someone to cook meals for him they could tell you what I eat every day. Seems way more effective. Three cups of coffee in the morning. Then I switch it over to Mountain Dew, Diet Mountain Dew. Usually one or two uh, uh, Diet Mountain Dews. And then when it's uh, uh, 
eating food time like actually when i start eating food it's 1.2 pounds of chicken going to pay for it's someone 1.2 pounds of chicken wait three cups is holy shit wait you guys think that's a lot One point two pounds of straight white chicken breast that's, that's marinated, uh, cooked with three Peter wraps, uh, depending on how many calories they are. Sometimes it's two Peter wraps depending on the brand because some of them are like, some of them are like a hundred calories per wrap. Some of them are more than that. I don't, I don't, I try to hit that, like two hundred. I try to stay under like two hundred to three hundred calories on the wrap department, um, and a salad on the side, and then after. Poggies. After I'm done streaming, or sometimes when I'm streaming, I will have one ice cream sandwich. Not gonna lie, I do miss seeing you eat since you don't have face cam at the time. Seven months. Kind of weird, Here's really. proof that some people in chat are the same age as you, Hassy. When you have time to poop, I poop in the morning. Every morning. When I wake up. It's great. Like a machine. Yeah. Like I said, my answer to this is imagine paying $1,400 a month or $800 to $1,000 a month on home cooked fresh food when you can have your mommy cook your tendies for you. LOL. Poopy. You know? Carb balance, whole weed wraps. Yeah. I usually have six cups of coffee a day. My chest hurts, but my mind is clear. How do you prepare the, uh, how do you prepare before or after coffee? Uh, sometimes before, but usually after. Love hearts. <laughs> do you pay your mom to cook for you? Do you not see the exploitative relationship here? Or is only socialism for thee, not for me? Yes, that's what it is. Yes, I exploit my uh, my mommy and also my uh, brother. My brother is a um, aerospace and mechanical engineer. He literally builds satellites. Okay. And I make him, you know, put together my furniture and shit for free. Okay. Can you think, just imagine. Like, I make him put furniture together for free this motherfucker is literally an engineer that builds satellites the exploitation of labor oh so good you're a chicken tendy socialist Yeah. What about people with a history of eating disorders slash disordered eating who have a lot of trouble dieting? I don't think diet should be the main form of self-fulfillment for them. Self-fulfillment? I don't think it's self-fulfillment. I think a healthy diet is an absolute necessity. And if you have an eating disorder, you literally do not have a healthy diet. Everyone has a... Everyone has a different way. Everyone has a different method. This is just one that works for me. I qualify it all the time, by the way. I, I have tried so many different diets throughout my life and this is the one that happens to work for me so that's a reach you were saying diet is most important in terms of health diet is most important in terms of uh, uh maintaining your like two months goals if you a want a, a certain percentage of body ha fat or, or or not yeah that's true it literally is by the way diet doesn't mean guys diet doesn't mean trying to lose weight or drinking diet soda diet just means what you're eating what you put in your body to energize yourself are we really am i do i need to describe to you how what words mean like words what are they what do they mean? Is that what we're doing now?
No matter what your diet is Once the most important. Yes. Diet doesn't mean like fucking Atkins diet or diet doesn't mean, uh, yeah, starving yourself or, uh, or like diet. You could, when I'm talking about a what diet, thing? depending on what your goals are, you could literally be eating more than what your, uh, what your body needs in order to gain weight. You would. Diet just means you eating habits, you're eating habits. It's the old saying, you can't outrun your mouth. It's a specific trying to get an aesthetic body fat percentage. Eating good food makes me happy, not momentarily. Joy just helps I've with fulfillment. Pounds maintaining a caloric deficit. Watch your calories, everyone. Yeah, you are, you are on a diet. You have a diet, whether you recognize that you are dieting or not. It's only $46 a day. $46 a day on fast food is a very luxurious life. I didn't say it's only $46 a day. I'm trying to understand how much he was spending per day. I can totally see charges being racked up to that degree, though. Especially if you live in a place like Los Angeles and deliver food, like order food delivery. Fast food equals luxury, LMFAO. I mean, $46 on fast food is... He's probably not eating McDonald's, you know what I mean? He's probably not eating, like, Taco Bell and McDonald's. He's probably eating, like, um... Uh... Love you. Have a good day. I, I don't hassle, know. Hassle, it's hassle, just, hassle. He's, he's probably eating, like, one level above. Also, depends on how many... Jump in the chat with Noko. He'd love to chat about this topic. He's probably, um, no, I don't want to talk about it any further because then everyone in my audience is going to fucking start yelling and shit. One DoorDash order is $35, so it's not that outlandish if he really doesn't care about his food budget and just constantly orders out. Yeah. It's like $15 to get McDonald's meals delivered here through the apps because of the service fees and tips, so I get it. Yeah. Yeah, like if you are delivering fast food, if you're if you're ordering a delivery, then then it's fifteen dollars a meal three times a day, sixteen dollars a meal three times a day, then getting upset at that is is you know ridiculous like it's some fucking insane luxury the luxury is the amount of money that they're spending three months spot. but like acting like he's ordering fucking caviar is ridiculous <laughs> food delivery apps Not are expensive i wish that they would distribute the money that you make ass. off of food delivery apps uh back over to the people who are delivering food there was a story the other day that I saw about a dude doing um, DoorDash. Thanks for all the hard work you put in, brother. There was a story about a dude doing DoorDash. He was in fucking tears. I don't know if I can find the video. Talking about how he had to wait 45 minutes and spend like $4 or something uh, on parking because there was no free parking. And the dude didn't want to come downstairs and outside. And um, because of that, like he's spending, he makes three dollars. He makes three dollars from a delivery that spends, uh, that that uh, takes forty-five minutes of his time. Then he's spending four dollars on that delivery, so he's like losing money. You get paid four dollars for a delivery. Sometimes even fifty miles away, it's garbage. Yeah, no, I, I, I fucking. There's a couple of things that I've changed in my life. Cause I used to get really fucking annoyed when I didn't have a financial security like i i crank out tips aggressively unfortunately because that's how most people survive 
like i wish it was higher wages and and a european style where there's no uh there's like tipping there's no tipping culture but instead everyone is like actually getting paid adequately so you don't rely on the volatility and um the other thing is i uh i max out every parking meter i'm on ever I used to hate eating out when I didn't have money. Oh yeah. Oh, it's fucking worse. Well, now I now I have money to eat out, but I never eat out because I don't have time to eat out. Took some but, time off to take care of college and my girlfriend. Glad to be back. Hassle, 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 hassle.